Good afternoon, everybody. This uh, is James Kent is on deck. Um, the two-time uh, Afghan war veteran serving the Imperial Marine Corps, and uh, I also uh, trained Afghan National Security Forces team. And um, I am a resident of Manchester. Um, there's two key points that I wanted to address with this um, with this proposed bill. Um, I believe there's a general misunderstanding with um, common people with how simple it is, and other people uh, mentioned this before, how simple it would be for somebody who, this is a very key term, wish to do harm, okay? Um, for somebody who wish to do harm, they could take a 10 round magazine, okay? Go to Home Depot, buy regular materials, go home with handfuls, and create a 40 round magazine if you want to. It's very easy, okay? Um, I would consider myself a, a firearms expert. Okay? It's very simple. All right. Um, the other uh, point of this is that, as other people were saying before, uh, if you train to it, you can carry lots of 10 round magazines and load them very quickly. I can reload a, a handgun or a rifle in less than a second. Okay. Um, maybe not everyone can do that. But if you train to it, you can do it in less than two or three seconds, okay? So for me, in practical terms, uh, this bill does not make anybody safer. The only thing that it does, and it's another key term, for people that wish to not do harm, okay, which is the vast majority of our wish, um, it infringes on their rights, and it also makes them less safe because now they have less ability to protect themselves. Uh, one other point that I would like to make, uh, statistics from the Bureau of Justice Statistics on response times to uh, police officers for violent crimes, these statistics were taken in 2018. 28% um, of these incidences, the police responded within five minutes. 30.3% of these cases, uh, the police responded in six to 10 minutes, okay? Um, 33.5% of these cases, it took the police 11 minutes up to an hour to respond. Um, my question to everyone on this committee is, if we live in a free society, which I believe we do, uh, for this 72% of the people who are in this situation where they're violently attacked from six minutes to an hour, in a free society, should they have the right to decide how to protect them? Um, that's the only point that I want to do. If anybody has any questions, I'd be glad to answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's not really a question, but sure. I'd, like like to thank you. I'd like to thank you for your service You're and welcome. help you keep in the street. Okay. Thank you. I'd like to thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. 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 Do you believe that this bill will keep people safer by any means? No, um, and just to reiterate the two points that I made earlier, how easy would it would be to make your own magazine okay, for the common person to do um, And carrying lots of what would be legally owned 10 round or 15 round magazines and load them very quickly. Well, <coughs> Do you believe that this would make any person any less lethal? Um, no, because they could manufacture a magazine up to whatever, uh, you know, they, they people who, who skirt the laws are, are going to do whatever is within their ability to do that, regardless of what the law is. So no, I, I believe that this law makes nobody safer in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.